What up, y'all? It's T-Biz here, and we got another DC Multiverse to check out. This is uh, Nightwing from the Nightfall Saga, or series. Um, I've got a couple books. I've got I got uh, Nightfall, or was it Night's Quest, and I've got the first Nightfall volume, but I don't see him in it at all, which is kind of weird. Um, I meant to start dipping into those and stuff, because you get the origin of Bane and stuff like that, and then Batman, you know, getting his back broken and stuff like that, but I don't think... Uh, Nightwing appears till later in the series or whatever, but because I think apparently too he becomes Batman or dons the cowl and cape or whatever. I don't know, that's crazy. But I think he's I don't know. But then I thought Azrael was the next Batman. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up, but we gotta check this figure out, man, because he looks pretty cool. And we'll just go into some of this. Uh, yeah, the back and got some comic art on the back. It's pretty badass. And yeah, bat, uh, let's see Batman, Nightwing, Batman, Nightfall. So yeah, there we go. Let me go ahead and uh, get this guy over. We're back. Um, looking up Nightfall and Nightwing, yeah, he pretty much gets passed over for Gene Paul Valley, who is Azrael, to become Batman. And he doesn't become Batman. Or he's kind of... He, uh, Bruce doesn't choose him because I guess at that point they don't have a great relationship or something like that. And um, also that he's worried that he would try to take on knowing how dick is that he would try to take on bane and get his ass kicked and also batman has strict orders for uh Azrael slash the batman at that point to not or gene paul valley to not take on bane or whatever and stuff so yeah so he's just kind of peeved that he didn't get chosen for that and he talks to tim drake about it in an issue or two or i think it's, it's one issue at least but anyways here's uh nightwing uh, batman nightfall and if i'm wrong about any of this let me know or just uh, just cue in, in the comments anyways real name uh, richard dick grayson dick grayson has made a name for himself over the years and on more than one occasion throughout his valiant life, Grayson has proved himself to be one of the most resilient and brilliant crime fighters in the world and a natural leader. His charisma is uh, as potent as his combat skills, acrobatic flair, and deductive gifts. He is a hero's heroes who hero's hero who maintains an infectious an infectiously positive outlook despite facing much tragedy in his life. Yeah, like losing his parents. Anyways, um, it's a cool figure. Um, I'm sure some people would freak out because the details of his costume aren't like sculpted or something like that. They're just painted, which it's easy because you can take a pretty much plain buck from that's been reused from a lot of other figures and just paint over it and use that. And it's uh, it's economical and it makes sense because you can't just come up with brand new sculpts for every figure because that just cost you a lot of money and it'd be super insane but um you got a different head sculpt though and you've got that like 90s type uh mullet going with the business in front and uh rocking in the back or whatever party in the back and then he's got his little disc i don't know if this is like a uh, like a bat tracer or what because it's not as wingding it's not like a battering and he usually uses a scream of sticks, like I think in more modern times. But I think at this time, I don't think he was using anything like that. I know he's had like like wrist projectiles and swords and stuff like that. And I think he uses swords and blades. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Because I was looking up a lot of his weaponry and stuff like that. But yeah, I guess this would be, I don't know, man. Because I was trying to look him up in the series. Because the two series that I do have, um, was it Night's End or was it Night, Nightfall? And then uh, Night's Quest, yeah. Like, and uh, yeah, he doesn't really appear in any of those at all so yeah um or maybe it does appear in nightfall i just i just uh, skimmed over it anyways but yeah that's sort of you know besides the point he's got uh butterflies got the nice midriff with uh, lots of range i always like this buck this slim buck because it's got tons of range in the in the midriff torso area got double elbows which is cool because if he's gonna launch this little disc he can really rear back with it which is cool and um he got a waist Got splitsies, double knees, um, no calf cut, but you got a rocker pivot and the ham hock um, ankle, so that's cool too. And it does do a ballerina swivel, so that's good too on the foot. And yeah, yada, 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 pretty much the same stuff we already know. And he's got, comes with two fists, a right and a left. And then he's got a, a grippy hand and a trigger finger hand. And just like a splayed hand or whatever. So there you go. And uh, yeah, that, I guess the next thing we're going to do real quick is just get him posed up, man. Get him like in some kind of cool and Here's pose. one pose that I thought would be really cool. Especially since he's got the like splayed hand or whatever, open hand. Uh, yeah, like he's like sitting atop the roof or whatever about to launch this disc. Which, I, man, I guess it would be, could it be a grenade? 
or just like a bat tracer. I'm thinking it's like a bat tracer or whatever. But yeah, anyways. But yeah, I, I, that's one reason I like this buck, man. Because you can really get him in a cool pose like this, dude. And it works. It works well. I don't know. I like it, man. It's cool, man. It's something you would be doing, you know, being doing some like covert recon up top of building or something like that. So that totally makes sense, man. Totally Here we have him on the stand just doing a karate kick, man. That's that's pretty much just it. Yeah, uh, it's a good figure. I like him. It's simple. There's not a whole lot to him. It's pretty much Nightwing. It's Dick Grayson. So, you know, he's pretty much a badass anyways. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man, for this review. That, that's all I got for you, man, on this one. He's cool, man. It's a simple fig, man. It's really simple. There's not a lot of going on with them. It's not like, you know, um, I guess, like, he's not like Deathstroke or anything like that. But, yeah, I don't know. it's still a cool fig, though. And it's interesting, too, that you don't have his, um, I guess some people probably freak out that you don't have his eyes painted in or anything like that. They're not white. It's just like, um, or is it white? It's hard for me to tell. My eyes are just getting worse and worse these days. But let's see. Oh, yeah, that's white, man. So, yeah, that's cool, man. That makes sense. I thought it was just flesh tone, but it's not. They're just like his eyes are painted white, just how they are in the comic, man. So that makes sense, man. Makes total freaking sense. Anyways, that's our look at this uh, era of Nightwing, or a.k.a. Robin, Dick Grayson. Anyways, let me know what you think or whatever in the comments, or don't, you know, because most of you don't have the time. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I always say that. But anyways, we've got some more stuff to look at today. I'm going to do some more videos. We're going to pop more videos. We've got some G.I. Joe Classified series, which usually gets crickets on the channel, but I got two new ones that I think that are pretty cool, and one of them is like an old favorite of mine, and, um, and they're two just like, I don't know, one other was like real iconic from, you know, the, um, I would say the late 80s or early 90s era of G.I. Joe. Anyways, I'm done. Thanks for watching, y'all, and more videos and reviews always popping up. All right, thanks, y'all. Later.